Look at you, my IT team. I'm the new head of this department. I am the head of this department. I thought I was. There will be some piece of evidence that will prove without any shadow of a doubt that you don't know anything about computers. What are you doing? Plugging in your computer. Hello, computer. <laughs> Hello. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? You, you do know how a button works, don't you? Welcome back to the lab. Before the break, we asked you uh, what NAS, NAS stands for. It is Network Attached Storage. It's a, basically a hard drive with a network interface card on it. Allows you to save and copy files. Franklin Harris is here, born and raised in the Big Smoke, Toronto, Ontario, T dot O. That's right. And uh, he's been, he's just been like a computer geek for years. Technology geek for Eons, years. Yes. Going back to the old school VAX and Unix hacking. And now he comes in here and he kind of messes with hardware. Actually, his wife's a little mad at him right now. Yeah, I took the remote control from the bedroom for this segment. <laughs> so I got the phone call uh, real early this Honey, morning. Honey, where's the remote? Yeah. Um, I here. took it and we're hacking it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's here. Uh, so uh, what are you, what are you going to do to hack it? This is probably the most low-tech hack anyone will ever do. You need absolutely no experience to do this hack, yet it's so functional. A hack everyone can do, ladies anyone and gentlemen. I'm, I was sick and tired of, you know, sitting on the couch and waving my arm around like I was with a spray paint can. You Why know? were you doing that? You know, sometimes you, you can't you really can't get, get it. you can't get it over you there. You can't get yeah. You know, you're stretching your arm, yeah. you're pulling muscles. Yeah, you know, you're right. So I started to think about this, and I, a, a few shows back, I showed uh, uh, the viewers how to uh, boost your Wi-Fi signal right. using a parabolic antenna. So I thought, can we do, well, sort of, can we do something to um, amplify amplify or reflect more of the infrared signal? Because this is signal? light. This is, this is infrared. That's, right. That's right. right. This is infrared. So essentially what I did is, I, I mean, I took the remote control part, real easy to do, three screws. This is a MacGyver. The thing you know snapped why I apart. call this a MacGyver? Why? Because it's, it's got the, chewing gum it's wrapper got, uh, in it. Well, yeah, aluminum foil. foil. It's, yeah, it's got okay. foil in it. So what you're going to do is you're, you took it apart. Right. The first thing you want to do is you want to, uh, because aluminum foil is conductive, right. you want to make sure that you're going to cover up um, any of the contacts on the infrared lens. So use electrical tape just, to just right. tape over those contacts. Just tape over those contacts. This way just they so you don't get a short. That's right. So they don't short out when they hit the aluminum foil. Right. And then I kind of just did started. You, you only do one side though because you're only one side's going to be down. Only one side's going to be in okay. contact with the right. And then what I did is I kind of started taking some aluminum foil and contouring it <laughs> so that. It's it, like a little antenna reflector. Right, like it, a little parabolic. That's exactly what it is. That That is all it really is. It, it is. But it's got to reflect light. So that's why it has to be shiny. That's right. right the shiny side out. That's okay. what you need on aluminum foil, the shiny side out. And uh, so let me see if this. Once you put it all together. But doesn't the tape uh, impede? The no, it doesn't. Because let's put it together and see if we can get a little bit of a close up on the way it works there. As you can see, uh, it'll take any of the signal that's going backwards and, and shoot so it. So if there's any light coming out the back of that bulb there, the LED. It'll it'll head out. That's instead. right. It'll it'll concentrate. So it. did it make a difference? It made a huge difference. You're actually. kidding? No, I'm not. I mean, it was like a little mini lightsaber. I could sit. <laughs> I could sit in you know you down the hallway and change the, the TV. LED. Did not replace the LED. You at just all. gave it a little uh, that's boost. Right. That's right. Essentially, it created a little parabolic reflector for the uh, the the light that's emitted by the infrared. I do that all the time, where I'm kind of going. Well, yeah, somebody you twist my your kid arm always leaves his hanger <laughs> underwear over the Xbox, and I can't, you know. It's a <laughs> Throws his clothes and everything over there. So no, that's really handy. I mean, that's you don't need any can... experience. There's no soldering, no nothing. It's a real easy and simple thing now, to do. But I gotta say, don't do this unless you, you're willing to lose your remote control because yeah, you might break something it. Something snaps. You could break it. In fact, I think it's broken. I guess I'm. I guess I'm. Sorry, Mrs. Off. Lynn Harris. I'm stopping off at London Drug on the way home. <laughs> well, that's the good news. Replacements are not very yeah. expensive. Do this on the cheap remote control before you advance. But you know, I think yeah. kids could try this at home. And yeah, it's a simple. <clears throat> Dad will go. Wow, this thing works better. What'd you do to it, Johnny? Oh, it's simple. I just hacked it. I think that's great. You know, something something really good. You can find more of these hacking tricks at uh, Frank's new website, Technocrat. That's T E C H. N dot right. N O C R dot A T. You can see right here. You can see where the dots. Right there. Yes. You got to learn where the dots go. They go right there and there. It's very simple. <laughs> it's very simple. Also, uh, you still do digital underground still on TV. Still do digital underground yeah? on yeah. TV, oh, yeah. where we uh, we get more depth yeah. uh, with doing little very hacking cool. projects like this. Very cool. Franklin Harris, thanks for joining us. A final word with all of you as the lab continues right after this. Stay here.